the purpose of this video is to show a new design of Ray's motor generator with vibrating rotor, which was my first setup. This is Ray's number two motor generator with vibrating rotor. Also to show a new design of the pickup coil. Go ahead and show you how it's all set up right here. I have a one by one Neo and it has a hole in it so you can put it into the wooden dowel rod. It has four eighth by one half Neos on each side. I have an 80 ohm coil and also this will be my activator that vibrates the shaft. Okay. First of all we'll take some measurements. Right now we're taking about one uh, 5.13 volts, about 55, 56 milliamp, 58. Okay. So we have this will float a little bit. I've had this going for about 10 minutes. It still floats a little bit, but we'll get the idea. So we'll say 58 milliamp, 56 through 58. That's the low side coming up. Okay, first of all we're going to put a coil as a load and as you load down a generator the amperage should increase because you're drawing and requiring more current. So we're up what 61? And uh, we have our lights lit. They're not full brightness, but the uh, original motor generator for vibrating rotor, I was only using one flashlight, had nine LEDs in it. So this is a more powerful design. It works with higher RPM uh, more than the original. So right now with the load, the coil, the load, lighting the LEDs. I have everything on minus. I should have made it so it was all plus, but it's it's the same thing as uh, being plus. So right now we're hitting what 62, 63. Let's say 60, 64 even. Well, we'll go 64 because that'll float again. Here's 66. Okay, we can, uh, so anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and put on the vibrating magnets. And uh, you'll see that that really pulls it down. Uh, we're down below the original starting point even, 5 point, or uh, 58 milliamps. So, that is quite an amazing thing. Okay, I'll show you the distances. Here I have between the coil and the rotating magnets, I have about, it's about three eighths of an inch. Between the bolt end and the magnets is about three quarter inch. I have uh, four little eighth by half neos. So that's my setup. You'll have to kind of adjust that and work with it. Of course, everything's different. Okay. okay. And I'll be back in just a little bit. Well, we'll go ahead and show you uh, just with the magnetic vibrating magnet on there and of course it it requires less amperage okay I'll be back in just a little bit okay uh, we'll go
go ahead and bring our load in again. And you don't have to get it as bright. I had like, what, 52, 53, 4. But uh, it's still lit up pretty good. And uh, we're well below our starting point, which was 58 milliamps. This coil, it's around, eighty ohms, and I got this coil from a car relay, which looks something like this, and uh, then you take it apart, the cover, and you have to take apart all these pieces here. I suggest to get about a half a dozen of these and then work at it and finally you can get it down to where the coil is. You can even take the center out for experimentations also. So 80 to 100 ohms works really nice for a coil because an LED uh, their resistance or so forth is around 100 ohms if I'm not mistaken. So anyhow this setup really works real well. Here's my new uh, setup here that's my big magnet with four magnets there came a coil you notice I have uh, two of these quarter inch by eighth inch uh, magnets on it and what they do they counterbalance the push pull I'll go ahead and uh, let's take this off to begin with and uh, what do we have like 60 some before 65 64 I think so I can bump that in there and there's our 64 here about 64 65 66 okay I'm going to take my little uh, balancing magnets off Whoa. Uh, these neos are very very powerful so be careful when you're working with this this shows you the little wooden uh, spacer I have in there to keep it from flying around okay see how rough that uh, works it's really bumping around and look at the uh, load of the current up to 87 that's another 20 20 uh, milliamps. So let's go ahead and put our magnets back on there. See how they're just those magnets alone on there. I think that's just amazing. So this is really important. I just have two of them on there. It's very, very important to have those on there. That itself is just a, a free energy device there it really saves you a lot of current okay I, I put those on backwards see how the current goes up and if I have the north facing in which is the correct then it goes down and we're below our starting point of 58 milliamp we really have these pretty bright right there so anyhow this is my setup uh, the motor, it's from the uh, all electronics DCM 477. It really works as a nice motor there. And you can visit my original uh, raised motor generator with vibrating rotor. That's on there also, but this is raised number two. Yeah, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.